In this video, we will learn how to change hairstyles in Photoshop CC 2015.5. It will be fun, so let's just start it. Welcome back everyone. My name is Dhanan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to change hairstyles. So I'm going to use this image. So let's just select go by selecting quick tool and create selection around these hairs. Let's just click on select and mask. Make everything zero from here and zero too. So now we'll select our brush size it down so click on new layer mask with the uh, new layer with layer mask and hit ok very nice don't worry about these things you just get over it like uh, selecting this layer mask thumbnail and selecting your foreground color as black press B and hide these extra things like these okay so let's press V click and drag them on the layer so this is the image which we will use to change the hair so hairstyle so let's just put them back press ctrl T let me just check now nope, we will do this in this way so size it up adjust the size according to the hairs of this man okay it's very easy it's just uh, simple st uh, simple things uh, don't worry about that uh, just need to scale these things like uh, properly f uh, fixed uh, hairs so we'll just keep on warp click on check mark let's check to be sure okay so now let's click on this uh, layer mask thumbnail again press B selecting your foreground color as black don't worry about the skin or these type of things we will just get over it later but first of all we need to fix these uh, things like uh, where the looks better very nice it's about to complete just need a touch so I think it looks better let me just adjust the colors to get more visualistic so go to filter camera raw. but before you do that just check what is the background color so it's like little red type color but uh, let me just fix with the levels let's just have an example maybe it could more easier for us now these are custom should be default and let's just see to red uh, it didn't work for us so we will not touch this delete this we will go to filter camera filter it's too much brighted so we will first need to zoom it in Let's just check okay a little worked so create a new layer press B create a selection and okay so flow should be 100% and opacity should be 100% and there we paint press ctrl D don't be worried about this we'll just erase this ok 
okay let's just make it soft light very soft light okay and stick to the point now turn it to about right uh, it didn't match still it didn't match so what we'll do is we'll go to exposure make it clip mask nope and okay see what's going on here then okay let's just see some vibrance make it only for hairs and uh, now go to levels our main purpose is to look like to make it look like uh, same as the background hairs okay now we are going now we are getting it not too much hard okay and uh, let's see now improved but before it shows anything else let me just erase the other things which are making some problems okay so this is uh, a little fair but not too much let's just mess with this a little more so what else let's just select clone stamp tool and select the image select the area and paint it over it so it could give us what we want this is the best tool or we can say best approach to do hair changing style I'm sorry about traffic but it's daytime I cannot do anything okay and let's just select this one so still improved but uh, okay it, it really looks like uh, good now let's mess with this side and select this one don't worry about that about the size let's just size it down and now give it a selection size it up like this and okay so I forgot to tell you that when you are using clone stamp tool click and hold alt and select the area which you want to pick uh, by clicking left click you will select that area and if you want to sample the, the area from only that layer which you are using then it, it will be current layer or uh, if you are using two layers then current and below and if you are using more layers to collect these hairs so you can use all layers so let's just check below layer it will give us some of the hairs from the downside you can see that okay we have covered this and uh, let's just get some hairs from this side too there is no problem in uh, in this side so we just need to give it a better look nope it looks like better and uh, 
let's just uh, check <laughs> I like it very much here but you can see that there are a little problems here look at this and uh, let's just make it a little smaller like 20 22 now what we need to do is we need to do is make it a little pink so how we can make this a simple trick we'll select our main layer and go to filter camera raw filter from this side we can get a little pink and uh, maybe a little contrast and zero minus 0 0.35 exposure actually today I'm, I'm enjoying this because I'm not working like casual thing casually so okay so hit okay let's just check what's the results and there we have a nice hairs but uh, what else what do you think is it enough uh, i don't think so i will keep retouching this until i get my desired result so i don't i don't worry about the time to take uh, because the final output is everything and you know it it, it is it feels like uh, amazing when you get your desired result and uh, it's crazy so let's get some photo filters make it let me just go and you can see that select the layer mask thumbnail press b sorry x and it is this side now selecting this side let me just check what it will do when we will erase this let's make the original layer okay press ctrl t it's nice now let's just hide this layer click the foreground layer select the background color which and then select quick selection tool and press alt plus backspace to fill it with the background color layer now let's just check whether it looks nice or weird okay it, 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 it looks kind of weird so 
yeah i have another solution for this do not de need to delete this what we'll do is press brush and we'll brush these background things select your layer mask thumbnail and X and now I think we have achieved what we were talking about let's just press uh, clone tool and uh, select the layer get the samples size the roots I just want to make sure that we are getting right okay so we have got it uh, this is the thing we were working on and I think it looks much better and uh, let me just show you before and after preview this is the uh, final preview so I hope you like this video if you like this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button please like my tutorial and uh, if you have any problem if you want to des want a desired tutorial so please message me on facebook like our facebook page too we'll meet in our next video take care and keep learning